kind of figured it'd be a tough game. It certainly was. And, uh, you know, one thing, BYU played well tonight. Uh, but I do feel like it was more Boise versus Boise tonight uh, in the game. And what I mean by that is we just had, um, we had five turnovers in the game. We had um, some poor plays on special teams. Uh, you could probably call them more than poor plays. We had some really stupid penalties that um, we talk about discipline, and that's not disciplined football. And then we win the game. And we win the game at, uh, with an unbelievable uh, ending. And, and I really do think, uh, you know, we work on, on, on blocking field goals and all that, but there was something a little bit extra that came from Bronco Nation tonight and the crowd, and they were awesome. They stuck in there and hung through. Um, <clears throat> so a really fast start, a really slow middle, and uh, turnovers and, and all these sorts of things that, that really take a football team and, and find ways to, to lose games, we're able to win it. And, you know, I'm excited about that, and I told our team that. And, and we still uh, have to understand that we have a long ways to go. And certainly it starts with me on the coaching. Um, every time you go out there and, and you prepare for something, you have to be in the moment. And that's hard to do. It's hard to put yourself in those moments every single day in practice. And we talked about this last week, but we're going to do a better job of keep, uh, to, to keep preparing these guys to be in those moments. And <clears throat> um, if we have to, which we've done, if we've got to fix something by, by blowing it up, we'll do that. We've got no problem with that. Uh, we just want to get better. I'll say this, BYU week, it's a tough week, all right, around here, it's a tough week. And uh, it's a tough year when you don't beat BYU. And I think everybody understands that. So I know the Harson household is super excited about this game. Uh, and uh, I know our team is as well. BYU, um, you know, they got a lot of great coaches on their staff. And, and Ty Detmer, I recruited to school when I was in Texas. Um, Coach Sataki, I think, has done a very good job. Um, and, and really, I think it's a, it's a very good battle for us. And I, I think to some degree, yes, it, it will be because of our series in there. And, and probably after tonight, uh, with a one-point win over a team like that, you could probably say that we have something, something going here. And, um, you know, those guys uh, continue success to them at the end of the season or end of these next, these next games. Did you, that's my sheet I took in at halftime right there and just read it. Like, all right, we had two pick sixes. We had two one throw rolls. Oh, two personal fouls. You guys right there. So, um, yeah, no, that was kind of the halftime. We, we actually, we brought it in at halftime. And normally we go and we have our, our discussions as coaches and we come together. We brought the team up. We just had a few things to say to them. Like, all right, you ready to go fight? Second half of the game. And... You just read it off right there. That doesn't sound favorable for the Broncos. Yet they were ready to attack the second half, uh, which is exactly what they did. Work on that, and, and you do. I mean, it, guys, it's it's every week, right? I mean, this is we are a work. Let me just say this: we're a work in progress, all right. And we won games, and and I know it. Uh, our team knows it, and you know that's the fun part about our jobs is we got to go back to work, and we assume nothing, and, and we certainly will. I was. First of all, we were trying to stem. My coach wanted us to stem into it. That's when we move into it. Mm -hmm. But I told them that I just want to line up in front of the guard and get a good push off of it. They snapped the ball. We got a great push up the middle by me and Ellie and Sam, and then threw up my hand. I guess it hit me right in the hand. So, and then after that, I don't know what was happening. Boise State football players ran to our sideline. They were running to their sideline. They spiked the ball. So, did you think the game was over after you blocked that? Uh, by the way, I ran up the field. I think so. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I was pretty sure it was done too. So that was pretty scary. Uh, I don't care. Are you are you a fast tight end? Uh, people say that they, were, they said your wheels looked a little. Uh, they were a little surprised. I mean, is that that what you do, or what was that like to be able to kind of break free that there? I mean, I, I think I can I can do you know just about anything with the ball, but I can block too. So yeah, I don't know. He's more a sprinter in track and field. He's a thrower. So. Nah, thrower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, thanks, guys. Thanks, Jake. I have over 44 carries last week. You get a bulk of carries uh, today as well. I'm actually feeling good, especially like because we won the game. But my body's feeling good. I'm feeling healthy. You know, early on in the game, it's just you know you're throwing jabs. It's like a it's like a fight. You're throwing jabs. You know, 
and then later in the game, you, some runs gonna start opening up, some things gonna start opening up, and then I just train for that fourth quarter just because I know everybody else on defense is gonna be tired, and I'm still ready to go. Uh, I'm very confident just with those guys around me. That offensive line is <laughs> one of the best in the country. You know, they they work their tails off to to open those holes for me and those those uh, receivers go crack those safeties and those tight ends come around, hit those backers. So I give all the credit to those guys just for making my job a little bit easier. And yeah, I'm just getting confident as I'm as I'm going along through the season.